I bought this uh, soap dispenser mold and I'm going to try to make my own soap dispenser. So this did come with, I think, four pumps. I ordered this dispenser itself off of Amazon. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so this is one mold for the top. And then this is the mold for the bottom half. Um, my workspace is a little dirty because I've just been playing with some pigment. But I'm not too worried about that. Um, not for the outside of the mold anyway. So I may just use these two colors and and see what happens. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to grab a brush and um, I'll be using this particular brush to dust the inside of the mold. So I'm going to take Ooh, I'm going to take the brown. I'm going to start with the lid. And I just dipped the brush. I'm going to dust off as much of this as I can. And just kind of like go in like that. It's so pretty. I am hoping this doesn't... I think I'm going to change this. I don't want the brown and the bronze to come out looking almost the same. And that looks really bright. So I'm going to take this color and I'll add this gold um, to that. But I'm going to do the brown on the other mold as well. I have no real plan for this <laughs> I'm just gonna I want it to just kind of look like I don't know splotches of color um because that is kind of how my countertops look you guys like if I'm being super honest my, my countertops just look like splotches of color <laughs> I don't know why I did that yeah yeah that's fine that's fine um so that's what I'm going for. And then what I'll do is when I pour the resin, I'm going to make the resin, I'll make it black. And that way the splotches can kind of work against the black.
dispenser. One thing I didn't quite realize, and I don't know why I didn't think about this, but it doesn't actually close, which is fine because this is just going to hold hand soap that will sit here in the kitchen. But look at it against, um, you know, my contact paper <laughs> that I put down. It looks really nice and I'm really happy with it. Um, there are some spots where there are some little flaws, like with the, the cat part, there are a couple of areas where I didn't seem to fill the mold uh quite well but other than that it turned out really nicely not a lot of air bubbles or anything and even like that little flaw there kind of looks like it should be there you know like i made it that way so super happy with it there she is so so proud anywho if you like the video don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe if you feel so inclined and also um just have a great day, wherever you are. Bye.